Hi, it's Matthew Reed here from howtorepairpendulumclocks.co.uk and today we're going to be talking about letting down the mainspring on your Smith's Enfield mantle clock. When we talk about mainsprings, we always think about safety. Mainsprings can be potentially very dangerous. They can store a lot of energy. So when we come to remove the mainspring and refit the mainspring into the barrel, we're particularly cautious. And the same applies for letting the power off the spring. So before we begin, we're going to equip ourselves with a strong pair of safety gloves and some eye protection. You will also need a mainspring letdown tool. Now these are available in sets from horological suppliers and the internet. And in appendix two of our book, we show you how to make one out of a clock key and a file handle, which can be a lot less expensive. So we have removed the mechanism from the clock case. The next thing we're going to do is to let any power off the spring. Now, it may be that you don't know whether the spring is fully or partially wound. So we approach this procedure with caution. We don't want to damage the clock, of course, and importantly, we don't want to hurt ourselves, hence the personal protective equipment. So when we look at the winding mechanism of the clock, we see that it comprises four components. That is the barrel arbor, or the square on the barrel arbor where the winding key fits. A ratchet wheel with asymmetric teeth. A winding click, or pole, and a spring that keeps the click in position. Now, the winding mechanism is designed specifically so under normal circumstances, the barrel arbor can only rotate in one direction. In this case, it's clockwise as we look at the clock movement and the purpose of this is to wind the spring. Now in letting the spring down, we're going to allow the barrel arbor to rotate in the opposite direction to normal winding. This, as I said, must be done with caution. So firstly, wearing our PPE, place the mainspring letdown tool onto the square of the barrel arbor. This is a good opportunity to see how strong the spring is. So give the clock a little bit of a wind and check that you're confident with holding back the power in the spring. You can see in normal operation, the uh, action of the winding mechanism and when we look at the click, what we're going to do in letting down the mainspring is to hold the click out of engagement of the ratchet wheel teeth. And we do that, with, in this case, with a piece of wood, a piece of pegwood. Let down the mainspring by one tooth only. That's a great place to begin. In fact, you can let the whole spring down just by letting down one tooth at a time. When you get more confident, you may be able to let down more than one tooth at a time, which is absolutely fine. Now, you can check this by wiggling one of the train wheels. They should be completely free. If they still feel under tension, then go back and repeat the operation to make sure that the spring is fully let down. Now, this movement is a striking movement and it has two mainsprings. It has two mainspring barrels and therefore it has two winding mechanisms. And both mechanisms need to be let down in exactly the same way before you disassemble the clock frame. So good luck with that. Remember to wear your safety gloves and eye protection at all times when dealing with mainsprings. Thank you.